Oh my god, I'm oh, so much better. Anywho, so today I'm going to talk about fall and winter trends for 2021. You know, I don't really follow them for myself. I just figured I'll put on some fall like colors for the video. But I'll wear this summer, fall, spring, winter. I don't care. I like the shirt. I like the way it fits. And that's what matters to me. I don't follow them for myself, but I do like to be informed because I do run a clothing business. So it's good to know what to look for, especially since we're thrifting, we're looking for hot next new thing. And it's kind of difficult if you're stuck in like 2019 trends, but you're trying to sell them in 20. It's just a big mess. So let's just take this with a grain of salt. Like you don't have to follow these trends. You don't have to only buy these things, but it's good to keep in the back of your mind when you're thrifting and trying to create a cohesive closet that flows. And yeah, you should have started buying for fall like a month ago. I have not actually seen anything. I like quickly looked it up and I was like, mm, this is a great idea. This is just like my authentic reaction to everything and let's just see what fall 2021 has in store for us okay intoxicating colors so bold bright colors which is a little bit different than our normal dark toned like jewel toned colors for fall apparently we're gonna go bright here's an example i really don't know how that ties into fall but who knows maybe people are just like making up for lost time from being stuck inside of the house for so long. Next is the 2000s. I don't think Y2K is ever going away. I think everybody is just stuck in the Y2K era where, you know, big flared jeans and little teeny tiny crop tops with some sort of logo like Barbie, Bratz, something. It's just it. It's not for me, but it is for others. But I'll, I'll still look. Uh, my last haul, right? Yeah, last week I made a haul. I picked up something that was very Y2K. And, you know, it was that cardigan aloe sweater. And it has the three buttons. And, like, that would look really cute with some high-waisted flare jeans and a little baby crop top. So, I, I'm, not, I'm not surprised about that one. Here are some examples. Do you wear Y2K trends? I want to know. Let me know. Tell me down below. Do you wear anything Y2K? If it's the big flared jeans, if it's the baby crop tops, I want to know. Are you with it? It's not for me. I, I was a baby in the Y2K. What do you mean? <laughs> XXL outerwear. Now, I don't know, like oversized outerwear. You know, when I went shopping for my own outdoor clothing, I wanted to fit enough for me to like do it up but also give me enough room to sit in my car because I really, I drive around a lot. But like, I wouldn't want extra layers and like, just feel like I'm floating. Like think like Joey on Friends putting on a coat as big as that, that time when Joey wore all those clothes. This, this one. Now just imagine that's just one big suit though. It doesn't feel comfy. That doesn't look comfy. That doesn't look cute but I mean but I do know like quilted is in apparently so. the next one is cat suits I don't even like a romper like when I put on a romper and then I go to the bathroom I'm going to have to be naked on the porcelain that's weird I like having clothes on when I'm in the bathroom I don't know if I can I don't even think I'd want to, one, I don't think I'd want to thrift this. Do you know how difficult these would be to try and photograph without modeling them? And I'm not modeling a cat suit. Even my mannequin doesn't want to model. You know how hard it would be to get my mannequin into a cat suit? No. No. Don't like it. It's very much not a practical trend. I just don't, that's not for, it's not for me. I don't like this one. What do you think? I could go without this one. Okay, so the next one is Glitter Sequence Sparkle. I love it. If you don't know, I wear Glitter Toms year-round. I don't care. 
they are pretty. I don't care if it's like midlife crisis, middle age, glittery shoes. I like them. So I love this. I also used to always wear some sort of glittery top. I haven't found ones that I really like lately. Sequins, I just find like to fall off. I don't know. They don't really like to stay on the clothes that I'm wearing. And I just don't have anything or I totally would have wore it today. But I do get attracted to it. Actually, there was this green Armani dress that was all sequins or whatever. It was brand new, $400 dress at the thrift store, but it was $40. And I was like, no. But I, don't, I feel like I should have grabbed it. I did double check. It really did. It didn't fit the size of my closet. Like the size was wrong. So it's like, do I pick up this? tinier sized dress to let it sit on my Poshmark closet but it would have made a very beautiful New Year's dress I love sparkles here's some examples I probably wouldn't wear all of them but I think that they look amazing astounding on any age anybody everybody sparkling glow love it oversized monochromatic suits I could get behind the oversized blazer. I could get behind because it looks cute. You wear the oversized blazer. You have your cute top and your jeans or whatever, your, your skirt or your bike shirt underneath. I could get behind it. But now you're getting those big pants and you just look like you're drowning. I don't like this one. This is, no. No. It's very frumpy. Like you got lost in it. Like there's tailors for a reason, people. I'm not saying it needs to be super tailored, but fitted is nice. Not tight, but fitted to your body. Oversized blazer can stay, but the rest can go. I don't like that. All right. So this is more like winter time. This is exactly what I was talking about before with the whole, what they call the XXL outerwear. Quilted. Quilted. Everything is so in. Puffers. Just quilt me up, baby, because it's just that's just the trend. Uh, personally, I think like a good parka in a quilt or you know, a nice jacket in that is great, but a whole look in it, maybe not. There's some examples of quilted that aren't just outerwear. I just I don't think I could get behind a pair of quilted shorts. It's not for me, but I do have a pair of quilted like hiking pants in my closet I was ahead of the trend they're still available so I don't know <laughs> there's a winter trend that I don't quite understand and maybe it's because I'm in Canada maybe because I know we can get minus 30 to minus 40 degrees whatever that is in Fahrenheit I don't know but the mini skirt is coming back for winter the mini skirt that doesn't make sense to me where is the pants? Where is the long skirts? Why mini skirts? You know, I was a fool. I wore mini skirts in the wintertime in high school. And I tell you, that is the worst choice you can make ever. So don't do that. I don't know, but apparently you should continue to stock your mini skirts. Because it's, it's the trend. And the sequins, metallics, those are going to come back down into the winter. So it's a great investment. So, you know, look for more of like your silver tones, stuff that'll keep going through winter into spring, you know, blues and just those cool colors that you can really match along with everything else. I think a cute sequin moment is it. Fringe. I can't rock fringe, but let me tell you. It looks so good on the right person. It's just not me. But fringe is back. It's back as it ever left. I don't know, but it's hot for winter 2021. Don't really know how that goes along with winter and mini skirts. I, I should compile an outfit at this point of the weirdest trends all together and see how it looks. Is it a look? Is it a moment? Or is it just doing too much? I don't know. Velvet. Velvet anything sets velvet has been making a comeback all 2021 people have been sourcing juicy couture matching sets and i think this is also a nod to y2k but velvet matching sets have been making a comeback and it's been steadfast and they are bright colored so let me check off the bright colors there plus velvet is just a thing velvet velveteen just that crushed velvet it's all hot 
for fall, winter, I can get behind that. I don't know if I would wear it because I'd almost feel like I'm a dust rag. Wow, I'm a mom. Um, but it's not for me, but I really do believe that it is a hot trend to stand behind, source, look for it. Just absolutely, like, look, look at this. This speaks winter to me. Mm. So those were your 2021 fall and winter trends to keep an eye out for when you're thrifting and, you know, for yourself, for your closet. I hope it helps in some way and I hope that you have great success during Q4. So I really appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, commenting down below. I love to interact with you guys. And if you haven't followed me yet, go check out my Instagram. I post as often as I can remember because life is getting busy. Kids going back to school till next week. I will see you next Wednesday. And when I can record a video in silence. <gasps> I mean, I could get down at this angle. Okay. Oh my God, what do I do? So I said, oh, I just broke my toe. <laughs> oh my God. This is why my ankle will never heal. My ankle is going to be forever broken. Oh, I thought I wasn't recording. Oh my god. Oh my god, why do I sleep so fast? Honestly, my coke is going to be so flat by the end of this. Sorry. Do we wonder how flat this was? Not flat yet. It was getting there. Not quite flat. Also, can we take a moment for this hair? Instead of my haircut, chopped up several inches, like 15 inches of hair. So, over the back. Okay, bye.